Okay, we are back, and we're going to continue, and uh, we're going to read to you some of our emails, and uh, let me give me a drink of water. I read to you some of the emails this morning. These are people that write to us on the internet. They they see us on the internet or they see us on TV across the country. We're on in a lot of towns and cities out in San Francisco and in, up in Washington State and and we're on in uh, Chicago and all over New York City, all the boroughs. Brooklyn, Queens, Staten Island, Manhattan, the Bronx, and uh, well, on up and down the east coast, uh, Boston, Philadelphia, Washington, D.C., we're on Charlotte, North Carolina, we're on in, uh, in Atlanta, all over Texas, Dallas, Fort Worth, Beaumont, Houston, San Antonio and Austin. And people see us, and these are things they write to us. I got some YouTube comments. YouTube comments are the ones that a lot of times I get I get a lot of correction. And uh, got a... <laughs> I got an email from Earl Clayton. He's telling me why I never spoke in tongues. Okay. He says, uh, on why I hate Pentecostalism, the charismatic doctrine, it's a worldwide lie. You've never spoken in tongues because you've never received the Holy Ghost. Well, the Holy Ghost is the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit's truth. So what you're trying to tell me is I've never received the truth, right? The word tongue is either the word glossa or dialectos. Let me add one thing to that. You're ignorant. Ignorant means unlearned. George E. writes to us, we are saved by ourselves. He comments on that. I always learn something from Jim. Thank you very much. 
And then J. Days 1 commented on thousand as a noun, 1260 days as a verb, one half of the seven years of the 70th week of Daniel. Gentile equals pagan church. What? Christianity was paganized since after 70 A.D. That's why Yahweh said to come out. This guy's a little bit on the nutty side. Uh, the Trinity is not taught in the Bible. It's not. Did you know Elohim, that God is, I-Y-M is plural? means more than one. There's three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Spirit. Did you know that? The Trinity is not taught in the Bible, and Yahweh is not a mystery. He is one alone and never changed. Jesus confirmed it himself in Mark 12, 29. One means one, one, means one in Greek and Hebrew and not three in one. Trinity means three in one. Elohim in Genesis 1 is not Trinity. Elohim, H-I-Y-M, is plural. Dodo head. People write to me and they don't know the Lord. Speaker. They're working on it. Yeah. 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 Oh, I thought it was me moving yeah. around. We're going to have to switch that headset. I'm sorry. All right. Yes. Hold on, everybody. Stay tuned. It's not. Unfortunately. Are we going to get this thing straight? Yeah. speak tongues because you never learned a foreign language. Huh? I was thinking you never spoke in tongues because you never learned a foreign language. Well, I can say a little bit in Greek. Oh, uh, yeah. Not much. That's right. I can say T. Celestino Roma. <laughs> what is your name? So if that's not what it says. I'm like to teach you straight. What is your authority? Right? Uh, <laughs> what is your authority? Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks this authority with you. Is that okay? Is that on? Okay. I'll continue reading my... I'm going to stop reading this guy. He's a knucklehead. Uh, people say, don't call people names. Well, can I call him a child of hell? Like uh, Jesus called the Pharisees or a child of the devil like Paul called Elimus. All right. Betty Hoback writes, uh, Revelation, the mark of the beast, buying and selling, seven and four, love of money. I still don't understand if it's not physical mark, how will the beast system know we can't buy and sell? Well, it's not a chip in the forehead, and it's not a, it's not a mark on the wrist. It's whatever your hand finds to do, do it with your might for the Lord. Put my law in your in your forehead and put it on your arm. Put it where you lie, where you lie down. It's not a matter of the beast knowing. The point is, it will be. This is going to be a merchandising problem. If you read the 18th chapter of Revelation, and when the Babylon becomes a burnt mountain, all of the goods of Babylon is destroyed. It's it's not going to be available. There's not going to be the money to buy and sell. Uh, when you have problems with the economy, that's what happens. 
Nega commented on the Trinity. What a blessing. Pure and strong expository teaching. How do I get these teachings in Spanish? Well, we can send you some of uh, Scott's. We'll do that. And then Dan Eide writes on Revelation, the mark of the beast, buying and selling, seven and four, love of money. Numbers in Scripture are interesting. I just noticed something that I would like to hear your thoughts on. There are 14 lists of generations listed in the Bible. The first 11 generations are listed in Genesis. The generations of Moses and Aaron, 12th on the list, are in Numbers 3, and the generations of Pharaohs, 13th on the list, are in Ruth 4. The 14th and final list of generations on the list, 7 times 2, is the generations of Jesus Christ in Matthew 1. But some of those generations are left out in Matthew, the first chapter. Some of the people are left out. But I would like your comment on Jacob's 11th generation listed, Jacob's 11th son, Joseph. I've taught on 11 and 2 and so forth. In other words, it's curious that Joseph was the 11th son of the 11th generation and I enlisted in God's orderly arrangement. There are other curiosities with these generations as well. If you start with Adam, you go down to the 11th, you'll get to Shem, and he was second born. Then you go with his son, Arphaxed, and go to the 11th from there, and you get to Jacob, and he was second born. And this thing works out all throughout the Scripture. I don't have time to go into it. Eli Pratt. Eli, I hope you're not going to argue with me here. <laughs> he calls me and gets to arguing on the phone. Wants me to explain things that have no answer. Like when people call me and say, well, where does God come from? Well, I don't know. He created himself. Eli writes, Easter, Christmas, Halloween, and Mardi Gras are all the same in the ancient world. It's me again, Jim. Warmest greetings to you and Mary and all my brothers and sisters in grace and truth. I've been passing out your ministry tracts to Hispanic Pentecostals in my neighborhood. Just so you know, I don't l just like to argue, but I do enjoy learning and I ask a lot of questions. So, Pastor Jim, why does Paul tell the Corinthians in 1 Corinthians 4 to call him their father when Jesus specifically tells us to call no man on earth father well we don't call men father like the Roman catholics do they're not our father balto fury writes comments on easter christmas halloween mardi gras are all the same thing in the ancient world god bless you guys thanks for this word of truth praise jesus thank you balto fury and the theorist commented on hebrews and revelation are Jewish books. The seven churches of Asia are seven Jewish candlesticks. You deceive. Everyone wants to be a teacher. Well, oh, gosh, I've been trying for about 60 years. I mean, you mean I haven't made it yet? All right. Thank you, theorist. Shelley Blanchard. The tithe is a New Testament teaching. The Levites and preachers. One thing they said, rebellion is witchcraft, is probably why they weren't born again under the law. I don't know what that means. I know rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft in the 15th chapter when Samuel didn't go down to Amalek and utterly destroy Amalek. I don't know what you're getting at. I'm sorry. Make it plain when you write. Chris Jackson writes from Reno, Nevada, talking about the mark of the beast buying and selling. Can't get enough of these videos. All Jim's videos are golden because it's truth. Can you imagine I wandered in the wilderness for 41 42 years and never had anyone. I have been to many churches and no one ever in the 70s, 80s, 90s, or 2000s up to 2017. Nobody was able to explain all this. Thank you, Jim. This is good nomos, good law. Any body home. So is an adverb, John 3, 16. Whosoever is not in the Bible. I have just started studying with you, Jim. I've wasted so much of my life, although... I've been a Christian for 30 years. I am now old, disabled, and in pain all the time. I am so grateful that while I wasn't heeding my calling, 
like I should have been. You were pouring yourself into your studies, listening <clears throat> for prompting of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, and so happy to have found your lessons. Thank you very much, Annie. We appreciate that. And then Clinton Balthazar, one of my defenders, <laughs> he's always on there commented on David and Saul how we are supposed to treat people who are trying to destroy us. Excellent message, Pastor Jim. The, the message came across great in YouTube. Embrace the fire and bear your cross daily. God is doing everything because he wants to rest. Agape and flail, call out, called out, a called out dirt sheep. That's what he calls himself. Zeno, we love you, Clinton. Zeno, no mind one commented on Hebrews, Revelations, or Jewish books, the seven churches of Asia, seven golden candlesticks. Go get them, tiger. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's kind of encouraging. Then I've got some of our, I got a couple more of these emails that come to Scott and Dee. These are Spanish emails, and they had to translate them so I can read them to you. And Scott, of course, is on the Internet every Tuesday night here at Grace and Truth Building, teaching in Spanish the things that I teach. Christmas is pagan, Easter is pagan, God doesn't love everybody. And predestination is true. Emails from Spanish minister. Greetings to, the, to your family and church. My name is Mauricio from the city of Antofagasta, Chile. I am part of a church in the flock and I'm happy to hear these sermons. The truth is they are very edifying for us. As part of the church, the Lord works and forms us into His Son every day and we need instruction. I would like to stay in contact with you and to receive the help necessary to guide the brethren. Our pastor also follows your teaching and we are all in agreement. They probably got more people than we got here. Thank the Lord for that because we thought these things before finding, finding your sermons. If the Lord allows, we can continue edifying together until he returns. God bless and guard you always. Grace and peace. We, we appreciate that uh, for this ministry. Pastor, we sent greetings. We thank the Lord for you. This is to Scott. Huh? It's the same guy that just wrote that first one. Okay, the same guy wrote the first one. We believe that you have helped us understand many things that we don't really know. God is being glorified for everything we have learned. A big hug, and if the Lord allows, someday we can meet, even though the distance is very great between our countries. For now, we only hope in the great sovereignty of our Creator. Blessings and greetings to the brothers Mauricio in Chile. We love you guys. Keep writing. And then got another one here from Pablo Lescano. He's in Puerto Rico. Uh, hello, Scott. I hope you are well in the Lord. I have included a document that I have written fighting the heresy of free will. Please, if you would evaluate it and make any comments. Although I did do not write frequently, I am always attentive to the preaching of you and Pastor Jim, it is very difficult to find people or brothers to share these truths with out differences arising along the way. There are not many who understand this topic fully, and perhaps I do not either, but the Spirit guides us to all truth. Thank you for the work you do in the Lord. Please continue, daily cross, narrow road, a hug and the peace of Christ. Brother Joe in Puerto Rico. Hello, brother. I would like to congregate and have communion with all of you. Pablo Lescano. All right. That'll be enough reading. Do you want these emails back? Okay, I'll keep them. All right. Let me give the announcements. We are, I've got a lot over here I hadn't even read. I never can get to them all. I don't have time to read them. Uh, I'd be reading all day. Uh we are we're on the TV in Nashville every night right now. We'll be on here in just about an hour. And we'll be on for three straight hours coming at 8.30. I mean, three hours straight. And uh, we, uh, we're on every night. 
on three hours. We're on three hours on Sunday night, three hours on Wednesday night. And uh, we uh, want to invite you to keep watching us. And we're on all over the country. We're on the Internet 24 hours a day, around the clock, uh, preaching all over the Internet, all, wherever the Internet goes all over the world, and it goes everywhere. We uh, help our needy people. We've got a lot of needy folks. I mean, really needy. We've got people that are struggling, just trying to tread water to keep their head above water, uh, making about five, six hundred a month. We've got one fellow makes about four hundred eighty a month, or four fifty something like that. And uh, I don't know how they live. We help as many of them as we can. And uh, if you want to help these needy believers, they are believers. I've checked them out over the years. Then you make your check to grace and truth and put needy on the bottom of it. And we are going to continue to help our Spanish ministry. We hope this thing will get off the ground. We'll keep preaching whether it does or not. It's off the ground as far as I'm concerned. And uh, <clears throat> we're going to keep teaching these truths. And uh, I know Scott and Dee are going to keep teaching. And we want you to support them. Make your check to grace and truth and put mission on the bottom of it. And that all goes to them. We've got just a few days for our annual chili cookout. This next Saturday, all day long, right down here at Rockland Recreation Center, just around the corner. You pull out the driveway, go to the right, go to the next light, go to the, take a left, and immediately back to the right on Rockland Road. Go down there just before you go over an overpass, and there'll be a sign that says Rockland Recreation Center to the left. And it's there on the lake, and we'll be meeting, having a good time together. So come and see us. All right. Is your husband here? Not here? Okay. <clears throat> well, let's go to the Lord in prayer. And Chris, why don't you pray for us? <clears throat> Dearest Father, we thank you for the opportunity to be here to hear truth that you've uh, given Jim uh, intense desire to learn and to teach. Um, there's so many things we uh, would desire to say to um, praise you, but it doesn't seem... Uh, like enough to what you deserve. Uh, thank you for our brothers and sisters here and around the world. And we always pray in Christ's precious name, amen. amen.